Hey guys, Dave here, welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel, hope you enjoy the video. If you do, it mean the world to me. If you hit the subscribe button, any comments or questions or anything I cover, stick me down below and I'll definitely get back to you. Monday morning, got no work on the day. I'm starting the week in the right way. Heading out to do a three hour endurance ride. I'm gonna try and keep it pretty steady, zone two. We're now less than three weeks away from the Mallorca 312. So the countdown is well and truly on. And I'm now in the final stages of preparation for what I hope is gonna be a Belton day on the bike. I'm gonna cover a few things off in this video. Questions have been asked from my subscribers, my nutrition, what I've been using to fuel myself through my longer rides. I'm also gonna cover off some of my training, some of my prep for the 312, how it's gone, and what my goals are for this event. Heading out on this one solo, bringing you guys along for the ride. Let's get into it. Okay, so firstly, I've got a question asked from a subscriber about what I've been using to fuel some of my long rides. Historically, I'm really bad for this sort of thing. I'm not the guy to ask for advice, but I have changed things up a bit for this year. Doing the 312, you can't take nutrition to chance. The event's gonna be in excess of 10 hours, so fueling and nutrition is absolutely critical if you wanna get through it and do a good performance. Turn the clock back. 14 years, I was doing 100 mile rides on two bottles and two gels. It's not big and it's not clever. Moving to the here and now and I've drastically changed how I feel on the bike. Listening to all the advice that's online, on YouTube, I've been trying to hit on an endurance ride, sort of around 80 grams of carbohydrate per hour. So for a day's ride, it's a three hour ride, 80 grams of carbs an hour. So you're looking at somewhere around 240 grams of carbohydrate. I've got two sachets of the beta fuel drink mix. There's 80 grams of carbs in each sachet. I've also got pack beta fuel energy chews, 46 grams of carbs in that. I quite like them, it's just like a block of jelly, but uh, yeah, don't taste too bad, easy to get down. And I've also got a beta fuel gel. So all in, it's just over 240 grams of carbs. That'll be more than enough to get me through this ride. Something else which I've noticed when I get in from a longer endurance ride, if I fuel properly on the bike, I'm definitely less hungry and less inclined to go straight in and absolutely demolish a biscuit cupboard. Okay, so I was ready to head out, hit the road. There is the Canyon Air Road. I've been asked loads of questions about it. People are really keen to know what my thoughts are, why I haven't been riding it. I'm going to do a video on that bike in the next couple of weeks. Keep your eye on the channel and you'll find out what's going on. This is the bike I'm riding today. Weather's looking great. Get out, hit the road. Thirty k, feeling pretty good. This is going to be two and a half to three hours of endurance. We we'll try and keep the power somewhere around zone two. It's quite hard on these roads because lots of little steep pitches, steep climbs. My power might drift slightly on those, but all in all, we'll try and keep a pretty consistent zone two. That's probably one area where my training's lacked over the last couple of weeks. Been doing more high intensity work, swift racing, chain gangs. This one today is going to have around 2,000 feet, 2,500 feet, so it's at around 800 meters of ascent. When I'm riding in Spain, you'll kill that off in one climb. But the northeast of the UK, the road's just rolling all the time, not too much flat. So the countdown to the Mallorca 312 is now well and truly underway. 
just under three weeks till the big day all in all i'm feeling absolutely great i'd say i'm probably as fit now as what i have been at any point over the last 20 years to be fair and i put the majority of that down just to how consistent i've been with my training since the turn of the year i've done 5700 kilometers so that's just over 3000 miles last year due to circumstances which i've talked about extensively i think i did 6000 for the entirety of the year so yeah massive increase in volume massive increase in fitness i hope i don't put the kiss of death on myself by saying this but everything this year has just gone to plan nothing could have really gone any better haven't getting ill feel like i've getting a really good mix of endurance rides mixed in with some higher intensity stuff the blocks i've had in spain made a massive difference they've enabled me to get a huge chunk of volume in but otherwise i probably would have struggled to do now three weeks out from the event it's got the last few big sessions to get in and start looking forward to the big day of my targets and goals for the event i'd say i'm probably only gonna ever do it once so i want to go there do a good ride and put in the best time i can initially i was thinking i could get somewhere around 10 hours that's 19 miles an hour and yeah i think i could do that with a strong group but i've watched tons of youtube videos on the event and it seems that so much of your time depends on the start the feed stations and how much you get held up so bearing that in mind and watching other youtube videos like the ed laverick one where he did sub 10 hours his watch per kilo it's fair to say they're in a different league to me so i've reevaluated, and i'm now punching for a sub 11 hour ride time much of the time i'll do on the day will depend on how early I get up how far towards the front of the star pens I can get and also the state of the feed stations I think so much of that's out of my hands but we'll be at the start nice and early see how we get on That's pretty much three hours done on the nose. Really enjoyed that one. Love getting out with groups, getting out with the guys, but sometimes there's a lot to be said for going out for a ride your own. Just clear your head, enjoy the bike, take in the scenery. If you ride, I'm sure you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Crack and ride on local roads that I haven't done for a good while, so I really enjoyed it. Big ball of fire in the sky came out. I think the first time this year it's actually had any heat in it, so. Yeah, a bit of sun on the back is always good for morale as well. And the SLA, it's well, I've been riding now for two weeks and yeah, it's phenomenal. Absolutely love the bike. We've got tons of great content lined up over the next few weeks. Obviously, as the build up to the 312 continues, I'll be doing regular vlog and updates on what I'm up to. The next video you're going to see will probably be an update on the Canyon Air Road. Before I sign out, I just want to thank everyone the 1200 subscribers who signed up to the channel i can't believe that the channel's grown to over 1200 subscribers in a little over three months to be honest with you it blows my mind hopefully this is just the beginning if you've just stumbled across the channel you want to see more about my story check out some of my early videos but for now my name's dave this is my channel dave rides again i'm nothing special 
Just a mammal on a mission. I'll catch you next time. Cool. We ready? Cool.